only on CBS News Miami now. The judge in the Parkland School shooting trial is talking about the case for the very first time. In my exclusive interview, she shows us what she's doing now after resigning from the bench, but she also shares her view on whether the shooter should have gotten the death penalty. I used to come here and play office clerk uh, as a child. Former Judge Elizabeth Shearer now works at the Fort Lauderdale firm her father founded nearly five decades ago. Hi, how are you? He's a powerhouse attorney who represented former President George W. Bush in the Broward County recount. You know, I wanted my kids to all be lawyers, and they are. So my dream has come true. It took 50 years of practice <laughs> for me to get all my kids in my firm, and here they are. But initially, this family was ready to fiercely defend the daughter and sister they affectionately call Liz from the fallout surrounding the Parkland School shooting trial. And I wanted her to fight it vigorously. Last June, the Judicial Qualifications Commission determined Judge Scherer at times gave the appearance of partiality. My dad also wanted me to contest it. But as you can imagine, a trial would have required witnesses. And who would the witnesses have been? These family members who were there to experience and witness a lot of what went on. And to me, it was, it was, it was, it was not an option. The former judge says she didn't want the victims and family members to relive that trial all over again. So she resigned and is now practicing civil law. This is, it feel like you're starting over? Yes, absolutely. Especially when they tell me, you're assigned to this case now, and you're, and I go, okay, what am I, first chair? No, sixth. And I'm saying, what? No, I'm used to calling the shots, making the rulings. While a jury decided the fate of the Parkland School shooter, this former judge reviewed all the evidence in the case, and even toward the classroom where so many young lives were cut short. Did this change you in any way? I would say of all the evidence, the hardest part was hearing a cell phone video that a child had taken where you could hear the gunfire and the screaming in the background, that, that was gut-wrenching. Do you think that the shooter should have gotten the death penalty? I believe legally he qualified for the death penalty. I believe legally the state met its burden of proof as proving heinous, atrocious, and cruel. There are a lot of victims' families that watched your actions day after day in the courtroom, and they were in support of you. What is your reaction to that? Humbled. When I heard from them uh, originally after the trial and got to embrace them and, and, and actually touch them for the first time, and hear them describe how grateful they were for what I did. To know that with what they went through that I in some way helped give them some type of peace made the whole thing worthwhile. How did you decompress during the Parkland trial? What did you do to try to take the stress out of your life? So I love horses. And um, I moved my horses to Lexington, Kentucky, which to me is the, oh, it's just heaven. I would take a commuter flight on the weekends and ride my horses in, in Lexington. They're so tranquil, and so that was my getaway. So this is your happy place? Yes, this is. This is my happy place. This is my oldest horse. Her name is Zella Lean. Here at the Next Level Performance Center in Davie, she's continued to ride and compete, winning first place awards and even breaking a few bones. Why keep competing? Oh my gosh, I love it. Are you kidding me? The higher those jumps go, the more adrenaline and the more fun it is. Don't you get scared? You, yeah, but you have to, you have to, get, you have to sort of get over that part. You have to, um, you know, the fear is part of it. I think anything you do in life is a little scary. In her career, she's also had to dust herself off and keep going. Right now, she's thinking about writing a book and says she's gotten offers to provide legal commentary. Should Judge Judy be a little worried here? <laughs> I don't think Judge Judy has to be worried about anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got big plans in the future, so we'll see where she lands. It really seems like she's she's at, at peace with, with her conduct in the court, the way it was handled, 
and now she's able to move on from from that chapter of her life. Yeah, I think you know she's had time to reflect. She's had time to really think about how it all played out. And then more importantly for her now is to figure out: Does she still want to continue practicing law here, or are there other things that are calling her to do? You know, in different areas. So we will see where she ends up. Um, it's going to be exciting to watch.